Uh, Hallie Jackson has it. Hallie? Uh, it is a new post on his online platform, Truth Social, Lester, in which the former president says, and I will read this on in full, because obviously this is the first time that we are now hearing from the former president himself since this incident at his rally in Butler. He says, I want to thank the United States Secret Service and all of law enforcement for their rapid response on the shooting that just took place in Butler, Pennsylvania. Most importantly, the former president continues, I want to extend my condolences to the family of the person at the rally who was killed and also to the family of another person that was badly injured. He goes on to say, it is incredible that such an act can take place in our country. He also adds, nothing is known at this time about the shooter who is now dead. The former president says he was shot with a bullet that pierced the upper part of my right ear. You're looking at that online post now. So he is confirming, he says that he was shot with a bullet that pierced the upper part of his right here, ear. He says, I knew immediately that something was wrong and that I heard a whizzing sound, shots, and immediately felt the bullet ripping through the skin. Much bleeding took place, so I realized then what was happening. And he ends this post by saying, God bless America. So, Lester, some significant questions that are being answered now from the former president here as to what happened, as to how he's doing, uh, as to his state of mind, uh, and again, significant in that he is describing in rather vivid detail the moment when he says that bullet went through his ear. He heard the whizzing sound. You're seeing some of these images now, including some that are being circulated by his allies with the former president, his fist raised in the air. He said he felt the bullet ripping through the skin with a lot of bleeding taking place. What we don't know now is where the president, the former president, is headed next. We understand that he is obviously getting treated at that local medical facility. We know from his son, and I will tell you from other sources that I've spoken with, that he appears to be in good spirits. That is what folks are being told, and that his son, who has spoken with him, him directly says, and you see the former president able to, obviously, in, the, in these videos, this image we've been showing, able to move, able to pump his fist, but you see the blood that he's talking about there uh, on his right ear as the former president is describing what happened. Important to note here, he is also, of course, extending condolences to the person who was hurt, the person who was believed to be killed there, uh, and thanking law enforcement for their incredibly fast response. And you saw the response, Lester, in one of these remarkable moments as it unfolded uh, in some quarters, in some places online, there was a live stream of this happening. Obviously, the cameras of every network in the country were on this, uh, given that he is the presumptive Republican nominee, of course, before this happened. And you see the absolute chaos there in Butler uh, that we've been describing from Dasha, from Jillian, from Jake and Bianca and our teams there as, as, uh, as the rest of it unfolded there. So, again, Lester, the first statement that we are getting from the former president himself posted, uh, as Donald Trump is wont to do, posted on an online platform there on Truth Social as he's looking to get the message out immediately, as quickly as he can, it appears, to the American people uh, that he is, he is, appears to be okay, that he's extending his condolences, and specifically what happened as he says that bullet hit his ear luster. Yeah, in incredible to look at uh, how close that was to hitting a vital area of him.